Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about how to handle for locators in inbuilt locators and also explicitly like XPath and CSL selector, how we can able to handle it into our play, right? By using TypeScript and JavaScript. See, if you go for Google and search for any locators, we can able to get for this locator, okay? These are the basically inbuilt locators. What are the inbuilt locators we have? Page dot get by rule and page by get by text and get uh, get by label and get by placeholder and get by alternative text and get by title and get by test ID. These are the inbuilt locators. No need to bother about that. How we can able to create XPath CSS selector and all. Okay, directly we can able to use it. Okay, if you have any locator attributes. By using for placeholder we can able to find out okay in case if there is any label which, which is uh, verifying for image if you want to verify the image that we can able to verify by using for alternative text okay if there is any text is presented for any label context and, and anything if you want to verify you can able to use for by using for text Okay, if there is any value is present right inside the label, inside the label is basically you can see for now if there is a radio button here and if you inspect here, now this is a label started here and it ended here and inside the text box, uh, input box is presented that is the mail. Okay, that mail how if you click for that particular mail, the radio button will be selected, right? Like this, if there is anything is presented by using that, you can able to verify, okay? And test ID. Test ID is basically whenever you see the any attribute that is called a data test ID. This attribute that moment we can able to use for get by test ID. Okay, can we able to use only this locators in our playwright? No, we can able to use for CSS selector and export them as well. Okay, and how we can able to handle these things? And now we'll see one by one. Okay, now first we'll see for uh x path first okay we'll go for next okay and now i'm going to identify this one okay and a page a page dot go to and inside that i'm going to specify my url okay and then page uh here for x path purpose we have four uh two different x path right one is absolute path and another one is relative path okay relative path these are the two paths that we have and also we can able to write for one is following sibling and preceding sibling and start with uh, anything and uh, this kind of x path we can able to create and also we can able to contents and text and we can able to create it this all the x path it will support without any issue okay and CSS selector also we can able to say for any kind of thing like uh, we are going to use for CSS selector by using ID we can able to hash and ID value and class name we are going to use for dot class name okay and if you want to use for other than that any attribute we can able to use the square braces and here we can able to use for attribute and attribute value right like this we can able to use our locations. now we'll see for sample and here i'm going to use it here inspecting this particular element okay and this particular element having placeholder and we have some requirements right now the placeholder i'm going to copy and here two square braces and i can able to specify for place that is basically and equal to and a single quotation that value now see single value is selected now this way we can able to create for css selector okay now i'm going to use for css selector similar format of page dot locator and here i can able to specify my value okay and here to filling for any text box we can able to use a fill okay and if you see for any old uh, things then there is a tag keyword will be presented okay the latest version this type keyword is deprecated means they are not using now and for filling purpose like uh, entering a value in the text box they are using for fill command okay fill. 
and here you can able to specify anything okay like this you can able to use and can we use the same format means no we can able to use for another format as well you can remove here and this entire path i'm going to copy now and i'm going to delete the entire locator and inside the fill i'm going to pasting this value and come this also will indicate for this selector one is selector and another one is value like this also we can able to provide in the documentation also we can able to see the filling option uh, information also here the method waiting for the element matching with the selector and waiting for a actionability checking if that filling that uh, locator is matching then immediately it will fill the text into that particular one okay like this we can able to fill it these are two ways we can able to fill the text okay now whether we can able to fill the text by using this or not we can able to see now okay it is able to fill the text right now if you want to see the report you can able to see in the report as well in the report also we can able to see that particular value once you click and here you can able to see it is able to fill the text from the uh, text box okay now that is a uh, CSS selector using and even similar format you can able to create for XPath and you can able to fill the text. Okay, this is a one. Okay, now we can able to see inbuilt methods how we can able to use it. Okay, for inbuilt methods using purpose, I'll uh, choose for RNHRM application. Before that, we'll go for Google to verify our image. Okay, now I'm going to take for this particular image. Okay. And here the alternative text is basically a Google and I'm taking the Google. Okay. And here a bit page dot uh, get by all text. Okay. Because we are verifying for text value for that particular one, right? Before that, we need to verify for expect. and here to be visible okay because we need to check the visibility that particular element is presented or not await page dot go to and here we need to provide our website url okay this is the okay and another case also we have that locator that is a label text label right this is my in a Google. I'm taking for this particular locator. Okay, this is my label. Uh, this is basically anchor tag. Anchor tag having this particular text, right? This particular text I'm going to verifying that. Okay, whether it will be visible or not. Okay, for this again I'm going to check for visibility check or clicking. Anything is okay. <clears throat> Expect and paste dot. Uh, get by uh get by text i'm going to use for get by text that is the text is basically this value and to be visible okay these are the two commands i'm going to check okay now we see in uh xpath and css selector how we can able to use and also now we are going to see, see for alternative text that is the image verification and text of the value we are going to verify okay Now we can run C. See our test case got passed. Now we can see the report also. Now clicking, see all that two cases got passed. Okay, this is a way we can able to use for that one also. Okay. Now, another case we can able to see here, uh, <clears throat> placeholder is pending, right? Now, placeholder 
and label verification for label verification again you see for this one to check for this particular clicking mailbox right now again inspecting here uh, the label inside if you see for the label context also if there is any label is presented inside like this we can able to use that label to fill or click anything okay <laughs> now i'm going to use for this label uh label and we can able to use for mail uh, the label is basically a password and uh, here the label value is mail itself the label uh, don't have any value whether it will work or not, we'll see. If it is work, then it's good because uh, the label inside the password is a label uh, presented and the type of the text is presented, okay? Now, whether we can able to click or not, we'll check. In case if you are able to, at least we'll see for checkbox. For checkbox also, the label it is presented, but inside the checkbox it is not present dev inside the dev it is present okay we'll see for label or mail itself whether it will uh, handle or not <clears throat> if it is work it is great await is dot get by label and the label what it will expect there are two parameters it will expect one is the text and the parameter see text box and label inside the password for label and the password is a label and text box is input text box and it will fill for the password dot fill because the password is a label value is password okay but it will take as a label name but we don't have a label name you can do now most probably it will not work but i will try as a mail we'll see if it is work is great right Dot click most probably it will not work up because uh, label value must be present then only it will accept otherwise it will not accept mostly our test case that way yeah uh, because it is not able to verify it says that expect to we use this one it is saying that we can pass it okay we'll see yes now it got passed uh, because uh, i take the label because it is basically null value right Null value it is presented. That's why it is taking as a labels. All the labels, what all the things are presented that, and also the value which we are providing a mail, right? That mail also it is clicked. Now our test case got passed. Okay. If you make a slowness of your video, then maybe you can able to see for that as well. Expected colon true. We need to specify. Then we can able to get for pass. See. Now test case got passed. Okay label also we can able to see right now what else we have and placeholder we need to use alternative text is complete title we can't because i'm not able to see any title related uh, um, websites because the, the span or something any uh, locator uh, attribute which is related to title attribute then only we can able to use this particular one otherwise we can't and locator of this particular test ID also data iPhone test ID is presented then only we can take otherwise we can't able to do 
and the role base is pending. Correct? That input box and we can able to see the role uh, button or something. We can able to choose, right? And we can able to see. Now my button, it is button is my role and submit is my uh, type of value. Okay, if you see the type of value, the role is uh, this particular one and the name equal to submit. If you want to click, you can able to click, otherwise you can able to use it, okay? And we can able to click for this particular website, okay? Await page dot get by role and this role we can able to specify, right? Uh, here, the role is button, okay? And the curly braces, the name of that particular one, what name we have? Submit, okay? Submit is the value. And single quotation is specifying that submit, okay? And then inside that, I'm going to specify a click, okay? And also we can able to uh, provide for placeholder, right? For placeholder also we can able to use it for average. First we will see for this one whether we click or not. Okay, now my test has got passed. In case if it is not passed, then we can able to see for error message as well, okay? And await now page dot placeholder, sorry, or get placeholder, okay? In the placeholder, again, what placeholder we need to specify, that is first name. First name is my placeholder. I'm going to specify in placeholder, a dot of field, okay? In this field, again, what I'm going to spell, a demo. Okay, and demo and clicking. Okay, this is the way we can able to get the text uh, placeholder locators. Okay, if we see now we have a label we have them and text and rule a placeholder and uh, alternative text. There are two things we are not covered. This is a by title and test title. Okay, I don't have any website. I'm not saying anything. Okay, if you have anything related to this particular two attributes, then you can provide me that URL and I'll uh, do for one more video for this two and I'll attach for some uh, some more example for that as well. Okay. Now I'm going to running this particular one. So demo and text box clicking and everything is done. Okay. And whether we can able to do only this, no, we can able to see for some of the things. In shadow DOM also, it will able to handle and filters also it will handle. Filter by is, means in the list of items it is presented. If you want to verify the list of items and you can able to do it. Okay. Otherwise, we can't able to. Okay. Even we can able to count how many it is presented for that particular values. Okay. How many values are presented? That also we can able to do it. How we can able to check that how many uh, values are presented for that particular one. Means in the same website which is presented the month, okay, year, anything. We can able to see uh, skills and anything we can able to choose, it, okay. Now I'm going to choose for month, okay. This is my selector. This is my placeholder. For this placeholder, I'm going to take the placeholder path, okay. I'm going to create for now CSS selector path. Okay, now square braces and putting here, and then you can able to see there is a 13 options are presented inside that. If you open options, option say 13 options because we have the months is basically 12, and also there is a one more additional there is a month. Okay, total 13 options. Okay, now I want to count, I want to verify the count whether it is presented or not. Okay. Now I'm going to use for await expected what we are going to expect in here a page dot locator and the locator I'm going to specify for my path my path okay then I need to go to have count how many count we need to verify 13 
okay now we are able to verify or not we see and meanwhile you can see here and it will run it faster right now you can see if you want to some operators if you want to do some operator uh, things and also we can able to do okay filters are most it will work out and uh, the count the list of items now we are going to count it right that we can able to even you can able to use for any existing like uh, get by role a list of items or something buttons how many buttons you have in our website how many text box input box are presented like this you can able to count it checkbox how many checkbox you have how many radio buttons you have. those are all the things you can able to use and check okay see now 13 uh, count got suggest okay like this we can able to verify and the same thing like uh, if you have anything related to uh, like uh, same code we even you can able to reuse your javascript as well okay and javascript also same okay nothing different only the package creation and uh, only this importing section only is a different remaining most of the things are same because typescript and javascript are same okay the way they are file saving is basically .js and .ts and some more methods will be a more comparing to javascript typescript is a more okay that also will cover in a later video session one by one how it will goes and how we can able to see okay now i'm going to run for this particular each and everything with what all the things i have showed in uh, typescript right same thing if you writing a javascript it will work as expected without any issue okay now script got passed in javascript the same code nothing i'm not changed anything just i'm reusing the code in typescript to real javascript it will work as expected without any error. okay you can try with your and also remaining locators and uh, recreate in your javascript it will work as expected without any issue okay if you face any issue please let me know in the video section i'll uh, try to resolve it thank you thank you for watching please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you